What's good, YouTube? I want to talk about. Oh, first let's let's do yeah intro gimmick. Oh boy. Oh boy, how oh, that? What was the other one? I'm living in the twenty first century, doing some me to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. Screams from the haters. Got a nice ring to it. Welcome to the house of now the yada yada. Let's get it to it. I have I'm in a hurry. Cause the last video drained me. I don't even know if I'm gonna put it out. Talk too much stuff, right? I want to talk censorship. This is not about Wakiki. Wakiki, you're attractive. Uh, David, what's her husband name? I don't know. I don't care. David, I'm sorry, bro. I find Wakiki attractive. I like older women. You guys can joke, make all the jokes you want. I don't care. Older women are more like, bro, I'm from an old era. Me and older women, we get along just fine. Me and young women, we get along fine, but it's not all of them. But as soon as they start talking, they want to force feminism down my throat, bruh. I don't want to have a debate about men versus women, 3 a.m. when I'm trying to cuddle. And then if I say the incorrect opinion, instead of you being mature about it and being like, you know what, we, I agree. Uh, sorry, I disagree, but uh, you were allowed to think that, but here's why. Instead of that, oh, you're one of those. Ah. So you trying to protest about feminism in my bed like three in the morning? Get out of here, bro. I won't kick her out, but she kick herself out being like stupid, bro. So I like all the women. They call me sweetie. Got distracted. I want to talk about censorship. I've, I've always talked about censorship and why I think it's wrong. But today, I want to bring you the Library of Alexandria. Um, the Library of Alexandria is a library, still exists to this day. But what happened there thousands of years ago have changed the course of humanity. This is why I have my laptop with me. I'm going to read you what happened. So ancient Egypt, right? I'm going to give you a quick background. Once upon a time, and this is my opinion, I'm not going to say it's true, but I think it's true, because people like to strike now misinformation. Another form of censorship, we're going to get into it. But um, listen, a lot of you modern black men, as I like to call you, dumb Negroes, Like you spend your day justifying stupid stuff and stupidity because you believe you're stupid. What you think about yourself and allows you to even feel that way, it's like a form of, uh, you know, when you tie a, a lion to a tree and beat it up, beat it up, beat it up, eventually it loses the will to live and be a lion and it just becomes weak. It loses that, you know? In a way, that kind of happened to black people, I mean, African-Americans. I'm African, not African-American. And even African-Americans, or I like to call them the Negro-Peans, Negro-European, they happen, I don't know if the, what it is, but they, even they, like to like, um, they think that being African is like, uh, like I know this African dude 
random off Instagram. And he would go like on Instagram lives with females. You know, just having fun. My brother, I must come together. We must, when I come to USA, we must link up and uh, eat a fufu I make. He's a funny dude. We laugh. I show him, I like him. So I just, you know, me and the guys, we show him love. But I watched him go on lives with girls, right? White girls, if they not creeped out, they show him love. Oh my gosh, show me Africa. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Is it hot there? Oh my. But when he goes on African American, disappointing to see. Like he was showing her like the street and it had like a sheet on the floor, right? Hey, are you sleeping that? <laughs> Laughing like hyenas. Like basically trying to like clown him for being African the whole time. Like you stupid B word. This man, I'ma just tell you like this. You if you have you suffer from self-hate. You think you're kinda stupid. This is very clear when you look in a rap game. Like, there is no other race on this planet rapping about wanting to harm their people all day and night. There is none. Only black people do that. If you say, okay, you guys like to say art imitates reality. Well, it seems that your, your art it screams self-hate. Men also, like not, not just B, B words uh, or female, <laughs> men as well, like started off early, like B's ain't ish but H and tricks. We devalue black women, black women devalue man, and it's all part of the plan. You think the part, part of the colonizer plan. When slavery ended, they went and documented. They went to great lengths to ruin you and the black household, the black family. At first they put crack in the neighborhoods. It worked. Now the modern crack is, you know, the rap game. It was working. Like why is there drill music? The world is advancing. People are about to go to Mars. People are about to go to the, they went to the moon. Now they want to go to Mars. White people got Elon Musk, and who do we got? Fabio Foreign? Nah. We doing bad, and all we do is, all we want to do is flex on the next man. We want, like Dr. Umar says, we want symbols of freedom. We want a nice iced out chain, a bust down Roly, bust down AP. Amiri jeans, purple jeans. Uh, all right, we uh, we want uh, Dior shoes, Dior belt, MCM belt, Gucci belt, Louis belt, Dior shoes. I said it. Balenciaga shoes, triple S. Balenciaga track twos. Uh, 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 what's the other shoe? Like the list goes on. And people, like I've seen this. And PPP season, a lot of y'all was giving money. Let's be honest. A lot of people ended up back broke. I never did that, but I, I'd seen people around. It's obvious, you know? So I'm like, okay, you got a little money. All you did was take pictures with it. You either got robbed for it and you didn't invest it. You didn't care. They went, first thing they do is, they go to the jeweler and the Gucci store. Bravo. Now you got you a nice chain and some clothes and it got you got your head too big. Now you're trying to stun on me on the ground, calling me broke. I don't care to prove to you that I have money. I don't. You want to play rich, I want to play broke. That's the difference between us. But anyway, you think 
drink some water. All you know about your kind is that you came with slavery. You were brought here on a ship. You were slaves. It was bad. Now it's not. So now you're trying to catch up with the white man, right? That's not it. A brother who used to rule the earth. Black people in ancient Egypt, not the modern Egypt, where the colonizers are torn it apart. We used to rule the earth and not rule as an invade. We ruled with peace and harmony. The original black man, 4,000 years ago, five. Okay. That's the truth. We invented civilization, mathematics, electricity. Don't believe me? Look up a Baghdad battery. B-A-G-H-D-A-D battery. 4,000 years ago. Electric, electricity, electricity. We had wireless electricity before Nikola Tesla. The top of the pyramid was a gold cap, right? Which got stolen later by the colonizer. Why was it gold? Gold is a conductor. Look at the inner workings of it. They had water systems. They took the water, used it to generate electricity, and they have tablets to this day that show them carrying like giant light bulbs. They understood science, they made science. They understood astronomy and astrology because astronomy is not fake. It's just that you don't get it. The metaphysical science is real. This is so real that it is taught in these secret societies. It's not the secret. These, this, this is info that, <laughs> that you guys stole from. But again, I digress. Could be wrong, right? This is all my opinion. One thing we can't argue is that the ancient Egyptians, the black Egyptians, the ancient Egyptian kings that did built, found the math, that invented medicine and surgical tools and agriculture, uh, agriculture architecture, these black kings, black man and woman, black king and queen, not N and Bs, you know what I'm talking about. It's YouTube. These ancient Egyptian black, and they are original. When I say that they came before everybody, they invented that, they did. White man, Chinese, Asian, Asian Chinese. Asian man, I love you guys all, but you, all of you came from the black man. Black man came first. That's science. Either way, I'm just trying to show you your history that you don't know about. Young Pharaoh does an excellent job. You can look him up. He got banned from here, but he, his lectures are still around. Do your own research. Here's where censorship becomes dangerous. What happened in the library of Alexandria set back humanity. Nowadays, there's a lot of info online. You have the internet. But the powers don't be, don't like the fact that this internet is, you know, we can do what we want, say what we want, basically. By the way. I usually have the lights on, but my eyes, it hurts my eyes. Next video, I'll keep it tired. Let's read it. Let's read what happened in, 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 in uh, Library of Alexandria. So the Library of Alexandria, currently, they built another one, and it looks good, and it's modern, and it's beautiful. But before that, there was a function. The Library of Alexandria was the hub of knowledge in all of the world. When the whole world was still in prehistoric in caves and wherever else, we were advanced. These, I'm from Sudan. These are my direct ancestors, by the way. So I take pride in telling you this. 
It was Wikipedia before Wikipedia. It was the encyclopedia for science, math, art, and the ancestors understood the importance of it being neutral. You can't censor someone there because it offends you. No, history is history. So when Lil Boosie came up and said what he said, I'm going to play what Boosie said. Us as blacks, we need to ban this Jeffrey Dahmer movie. This is some sick shit. What he did to our race. This is some sick shit. We need to boycott this damn movie off Netflix. This is sick. This is sick. The victim family should be getting paid off every dollar Netflix made. This is sick. We need to ban this Jeffrey Dahmer movie. This is some sick shit. It's sick. Lucy, you're not lying. It's sick. I haven't watched it. I haven't wa I'm not informed. I'm not well informed on Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know about him. All I know is serial killer, sure, named Dahmer. Cool. I haven't watched the, the, the documentary or movie, but Boosie, let me tell you something. Netflix is not going to take it down. This is no offense to you. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, they ain't going to listen. If you're curious why, watch the video I did here about, um, I explained deeply why they won't listen to you. That's one reason. But second reason, I want you to understand something, Boosie, because I like you. I be going in at these people. Me and Boosie, we got friends in common. You know my boy, Stunner. So check this out, Boosie. As blacks, we should, we must study our history. History is not out. Like, what do you want me to tell you, Boosie? It's not a documentary about Mother Teresa. It's not a documentary about uh, 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 Nikola Tesla. It's a serial killer. I don't know if he had white victims, but I, he, had, he had victims. It's bad. The thing itself, the film or documentary, is made for an adult audience, Boosie. Adult meaning, you know, right from wrong. As blacks, we should look at the Dahmer movie and understand, and, and, and because, Boosie, we must study our history. If we don't study our history, we are doomed to repeat it. We must not encourage the machine that aims to censor, because if they censor the movie, they can also censor you. It's the same machine, Boosie. They already deleted you off the ground. They didn't delete you because you were a revolutionary. They deleted you because you said, put your cat on live, I'll give you a thought. Come on. I'm not saying it's right, but Boosie, Boosie, you're coming from a, like what you said here. I disagree with the first half because it's coming from a place of love for your people. I can see that and I can respect that. What he did to our people is sickening. I agree. The victim's family should be paid. I agree. We should boycott and censor it. No, I disagree. The Library of Alexandria contained so much mathematics, knowledge. I mean, bro, they had wireless electricity. Your ancestors, Boosie, mine too. What happened to it, you wonder? Let me show you censorship here and what it, what it, how it affected us today, to this day. 
This is from this website. The Great Library of Alexandria. That's a colonizer name. It had a different name prior, but anyway. Was a massive library that was part of a research institution known as the museum. That's 4,000 years ago, they had research institutions. We did that. The colonizer just came and found it. And then tried to go recreate it in Rome, but in his own weirdo ways and ended up Babylon. You know what happened. And stole our, our info and religion and tried to spin it off as his own, right? And censor us from speaking about it or knowing about it. But before he got to do that and live that role, this is what happened to our library. The library is shrouded in mystery from its founding destruct to its destruction. Uh, let me just skip to the highlighted part. So the, so the, the I'm not going to call him names. Let's just be polite. According to Plutarch, the first person to blame is Julius Caesar. What did he do? On his pursuit of Pompey into Egypt, 48 BCE, before Christ, Caesar was cut off by a large fleet of Egyptian boats in the harbor of Alexandria. They blocked them. to protect their city, the city of knowledge, hub, evolution, and revolution, just like my town. So they tried to defend themselves. But he, colonizer was, was trying to colonize. He, wasn't, he didn't care what they did. He was being selfish. You offend him, he censor you. You know? Does that sound familiar? Not at Boosie, but at the machine that aims to censor the internet today, right? So he was cut off by a large fleet of Egyptian boats in the harbor of Alexandria. He ordered the boats to be burned. The fleet was destroyed, but the flames spread to the city and the library. It's not known how much of it was destroyed, if the library was destroyed but quite a lot. First of all, let me tell you something about boats and harbors, right? I don't know if you watch SpongeBob, but if you watch SpongeBob and a lot of you, you know, if you're old enough, you probably said, man, SpongeBob don't make sense. How do you light fire underwater? Exactly. A boat is in water. Water and fire. So these people didn't burn down the boats. This was some colonizer pettiness, like F the boat. Matter of fact, here you go, take this. And they didn't care about the knowledge they had, right? Again, this was, imagine a research institution 4,000 years ago, given what I told you and what you will go learn on your own when you research, right? We are the hub of all this info. The ancestors had technology 4,000 years ago. If this sounds crazy, wow, you probably clown the white girl uh, that, you know, that like, oh, crystals, I believe in crystals. It sounds funny, right? I'll tell you something about crystals. You're watching me on a phone or a computer, or a PlayStation TV. That screen you're watching me on is made nine times out of 10 silicon, which essentially is a crystal. So basically you're seeing me transmitted in front of you carrying this information through some crystals. Crystals not only carry info, they carry 
They're, they don't carry energy. They carry info. The ancestors knew this. The people of the sun, they knew that this light carried info. We get downloads from the sun. AK. That's, that's, that's stupid. That's fiction. We'll explain fiber optic internet. That they use light. It sounds stupid, but we... It's not that stupid now, is it? Now it's wow, it's crazy tech. These people knew that. And Lord knows what else they knew. Their science was not the ruthless kind that we have, the evil kind. It was the one that was one. It was the one that was one with nature and earth and the world and the universe and peace and harmony. Not conquering. You understand that library burning that day? And then they took books. I mean, I don't know if it's the same day, but they, they didn't care about the books, right? They found them offensive. How dare you be a black man and be better than me, you know? They took the books and put them in, made a, made a bridge in the water out of them, burned them. The disrespect continued. And the censorship, when people documented, continued. That's why you think you're a slave, not a king. When I say king, I don't mean go in the street and flex on it. No, love, love your white brothers. We're all one. But I'm trying to tell you, you see what censorship done to us as a humanity? It set us back. We could have had flying cars. If that library didn't burn that day, we lost so much knowledge that is lost. That's why Atlantis is a mystery. That's why Bermuda Triangle is a mystery. That's why we still don't know in 2022 how the pyramids were built. It's one of the seven wonders or mysteries. Info shouldn't be censored because it's good or bad or because it offends you. If it is, like, listen, if it's a chomo, he do some child pee, put him in a box. But we must not hide the truth because it offends people. We can't hide. Uh, I hate to use that example because I don't like them, but gore videos, because they expose a reality that's different. Yes, they encourage people to do stuff, but if you're going to censor them, <clears throat> How about you censor 4chan? You guys want to go catch all these cybercrime forums, but 4chan is openly racist talking about how they'd love to do cuckoo. Censor the 828. Cuckoo stuff all day. No one bats an eye. The burning of that library resembles our censorship. Boosie, the system censored you, and they censor people every day to the point of deplatforming them and removing them. In China, before the pandemic started, there was a lady that tried to warn us, documented. She's part of the Wuhan lab something. The government, Chinese government, CCP, they, they didn't pop her, they disappeared her. They went back to old pictures and photoshopped her out of it. In China, censorship is the name of the game. You can't speak about it. Imagine a history where you didn't have AK to speak about it. You would have never known. You understand the importance of freedom of speech? My auntie was a journalist in Sudan. She used to write about the Sudanese government, Omar al-Bashir. She got popped, body found in a river. She, my, her family, my mom and them, they went to the police to report the body. But the police did it. 
So nothing happened. They did more with the body that I can't say on here. But if you if you're if you're not stupid, you figure it out by now. Boosie, don't feed that system. I agree with the second half, but not censorship. Especially blacks, we should fight against the censorship. Even if it offends us, we should see it and know it for what it is. Would you rather Trump, who tells you, I don't like you? Or would you rather Joe Biden, I like you, baby. If you don't vote for me, you're not black. And then turns around and you see it. Back then, early internet days, people cared about that deeply. When they tried to sneak SOPA, the bill, people fought it. Net neutrality, people fought it. But you guys nowadays, you don't care. It's every man for himself. I just want to look cool on Instagram, I'm married to it. Okay. I, I want to allow it. When I say I'm here to start a revolution, I don't mean go protest. I don't care about that. I'm not an activist. I'm trying to spark the mind, a revolution of thought. You understand me? I fight the haters just to come here every day. You understand this news is getting, it takes a toll on you. These lights hurt my eyes, that's why I turned them off. I never asked you for money. My videos are free. Yet I gotta archive them on Rumble in case something happened to censors. This world is not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to advance and love one another. All races. Study history, but not to be a hater, to learn it and not to repeat it. That being said, it's your boy AK. If you agree, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you like, like. If you don't, dislike, go ahead. I don't care. But hit like, smash subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Boosie. Lucy, if you don't like it, show me love, man. I'm trying to grow my channel, man. All right? I turn my life around, man. Don't make me go back to the streets, Lucy. All right? I'm going to send this to Stunner. Stunner, send my love and love to you, too. You see, I'm, I'm criticizing the idea, not the person. All right? I'll leave you guys, man. Peace out.